Hello and welcome. I am Chaos King 1236 and this is my first ever video and my first ever LP, so wish me luck. We will be playing The Legend of Zelda Four Swords slash Link to the Past. Of course, I don't have any co LP here, so this is obviously going to be a Link to the Past LP. But they're both on the same game, so might as well mention it. Since I don't have that big a fan base yet to like vote on what I should name on myself, I'm just going to keep it simple and name myself Link. And let's begin! And the Triforce comes in. I never get tired of that. This was actually my first uh, Legend of Zelda game that I ever played. Long ago in Hyrule, a beautiful kingdom surrounded by forests and mountains, legends told of an omnipotent and omniscient golden power that lay hidden. It was hidden in a sacred realm beyond the reach of men, but one day, a doorway to that realm was suddenly opened. Hoping to claim the golden power as their own, the people began to quarrel and fight. Many sought to enter the hidden golden land. But none returned, and instead evil power began to issue forth from the dark portal. So the king commanded seven sages to seal the gate to the land of the golden power, and for some reason one of them is crouching while the rest are standing. Many brave knights were lost in the battle to protect the sages from the tides of evil. But the seal was cast, evil flowed no more, and the seal would remain for all time. Or so the people hoped. But when these events were obscured by the mists of time and became legend, epic zoom in. A mysterious wizard known as Aghanim appeared as from nowhere. And with strange magic powers he eliminated the good king of Hyrule and left his skeleton on his throne for some reason. He cast spells on the soldiers and kidnapped young maidens descended from the sages, who for some reason had no male children, in order to break the seal. And also for some reason he has green hair. Hocus Pocus Alakazam! This destiny fast approaches for the final maiden, the Princess Zelda. Heh. What the hell? Someone's talking in our head. What the hell did he do? Uh. That's not good. Where else would you be? Eh, okay. Okay, Dad. That's great, because I was just planning on go rescuing your princess. Nah. Screw him. We're getting out of bed. And we're going to steal his lantern while we're at it. You got the lamp! Press the A button to light dark torches and navigate the dark. 
Yeah, we're gonna dark torches. Yeah. <laughs> and until a little bit from now, our only weapon will be grass. Eh, who are you, my dad? Eat grass. Maybe we just keep hitting him, he'll get out of our way. Ooh, money. Eh, she's hit our head again. Of course there'd be a secret entrance. What do you guys say? Stop pretending you're my dad! Uh, unless I can lift these rocks... No, I don't think the secret entrance is over here. Conspicuous path leading to a piece of grass surrounded by tile. Hmm. No, the secret entrance couldn't be there, could it? <gasps> oh my goodness! Ah. ah! And we're inside. And what the fuck? My dad? And I told you, screw you. Okay, sweet. Ooh, new secret sword technique. Well, how would you know something known by the Knights of Hyrule? Did you get... She, was she in your head, too? Isn't fate supposed to be something that you can't avoid and eventually fall victim to? Dad? 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 No! Did you do this? Dad! You killed our dad. Burn in hell. I think he just glitched out for a second there. <laughs> yeah, so with our lantern we can light torches and whatnot. And someone just left five freaking rupees in a, sm a, p in, a ch in a big ornate chest like that. Well, I guess, I guess it's not that ornate, but... Anyway, now we have a sword. Which I will promptly use... to poke these losers to death. Poke. Dun 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 game just kind of glitched out there for a moment. Um, I hope my editor, uh, Super Kami Anime, will fix that. Oh, no you don't. Yeah. 
and down the obvious place to look for a dungeon and we have a blue guy run he's too strong nah. and he drops a key and we get the dungeon map the only one that actually is of a real dungeon the rest are all caves or temples and whatnot More blue guys. Eat pot. Eat pot. Okay, I got distracted there. <laughs> and he's stuck on a corner, so. Ah, ah, oh, knocked him off. Any more? Nope, doesn't look like it. And somehow we lost our pot. And why did they even put this in here? No one uses this. No one uses this little shortcut. Oh, wait, what's over here? Oh, that is this what that's for? Oh, this is a shortcut back to the beginning. I I never knew that. I always thought it was a sh like a thing for getting around these losers. Which I will now promptly kill. Because anyone who can't take those losers, even at three hearts, is a loser. And the door shuts behind us! I will stab you if it kills me! Loser! And we get our first item of the game, besides the lamp, which we kind of stole from our now dead dad. And a staple in any Zelda game, the boomerang! And as you probably saw, we have lots more items to get. And it kind of spoils that you're going to get pendants later in the game, doesn't it? Yeah. Down we go. And some more stairs. Guy with a giant mace. Boomerang. Unfortunately, there's hardly any monsters in this game that you can kill with a boomerang. Now. And because these pots actually do more damage than our actual our sword swing. Let's kill him with this. Oh, I guess we need another one. I think you can actually kill him with just with pots. And he's dead. And we get a demon key. The big key. This is the master key of the dungeon. It can open many locks that small keys cannot. Not really, because there's a lot more small key doors in this game than big key doors. However, a small key cannot open this. And let's just leave her. I got my five rupees. Let's go. Nah, just kidding. I will take whatever's on the uh, just another card. How do you know my name? Can you read minds as well as talk to them? Yeah, and they're kind of stupid because of it. All the guys with the short swords don't even chase me when I go in front of them. 
Yeah, it was kind of spoiled in the beginning. Your your dad's dad. I'm sorry. I don't know about inhuman, but he's definitely a fiend. What was he doing with all those young women? Yes, I understand. So, yeah, we've rescued the princess. Game over! Let's go! I win! Ah, eh, just kidding. But, um, because of recording stuff, I have to end the episode here. So, thank you all for watching, though I don't know how many people will be here since this is actually my first video ever, and I think I only have two subscribers, one of which is my friend, and the other I'm not actually sure who he or she is. I think it might be one of my other friends, but if they are, they haven't told me. So anyway, yeah, from Link, Zelda, and me, this is Chaos King 1236 signing off.